let me give you uh, a feeling of the circulation of energy because when a lot of people talk about their problems and very subtly maybe they are uh, giving energy to their problems or what's the principle? What you defend against you make real. These problems are something that you defend against. <clears throat> Well, that reminds me of that one about uh, Zen and the martial arts. How, how, and in there I mentioned how the the really good martial artists don't fight because there's no opponent. If you're in duality and the the opponent is separation, and through your practice you get to a point where there is no separation or non-duality and then you operate with energy we have to operate in the world because this is what we have to deal with but you operate from beyond the limited conditioned mind in sacred place so uh, that's how Zen and, and alchemy are one and that's how the meditation is so important because it, it, it uh, takes you to that uh, uh, um, uh, non, non-duality. There is no opponent. There's nothing to fight against. And in that sense, we all want to emphasize our problems. Oh, this is my problem. That's my problem. Your problems are your teachers. If you have some, some sense of a problem and you're worrying about it all the time, well, you know what you're doing. You're making it more real. You're feeding it. You're, you're giving it energy. And uh, that's not what, what we want to do. Now, at a certain level of consciousness, you know, that's all you can do, so, so it's something you can do. But what I'm teaching is much deeper than that. That's why it's important to do these, these exercises and, and the process that, that I'm teaching of, uh, uh, well, it's somatic meditation and in the sense of... of uh, 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 dealing with the problems it's somatic meditation therapy and that that word therapy means healing and the word healing means becoming whole <laughs> somatic is the body but it's not the body it's the body mind you can't separate the body from anything um, when you're still breathing and and uh, it's the mind so we deepen our level of consciousness and we create from there. <clears throat> so I don't emphasize problems, but I emphasize <clears throat> how you can get strong, access the power of presence, and with that power of presence, uh, um, the problems uh, fall away. They become your teachers first, and then you're grateful for the problems. So some people that have a lot of problems and, uh, well, I mean, the greatest teachers had the biggest problems. Uh, uh, the Buddha, uh, Jesus, uh, uh, Muhammad. Uh, there, there were lots of problems and temptations. And if they didn't have these problems, they couldn't rise to the occasion, so to speak, or, or surmount these problems and realize that, that <clears throat> there are no problems because there is no separation. Separation is the problem, and there is no separation. But the separation is our made-up reality. The truth is our non-duality, our made-up reality when we're caught up in it. We all have to deal with our made-up reality because this is what we have to deal with. I mean, this is it. But you could get lost in it, like up in the big bubble, when your problems are controlling you, and, and uh, they're, they're like your jailkeeper and worse, your executioner. But when you deepen your level of consciousness, where the bubble is smaller, for people who know what I'm talking about, about the bubble, uh, they're your teachers. So turn your problems into blessings in the sense that, well, you know that's what you have to do. And how you do that is by getting strong and uh, accessing that power of presence and uh, realizing that uh, you are that presence. So, and then you just act 
in the moment, problems or or no problems, but uh, you're totally in the moment. Remember what I said about uh, somebody asked me what the definition of the ego was, and I said not now, because the ego is not now. You're it's the past or projecting into the future. But if you're in the now. You're more connected, you're more aware, and you bring the power of that presence, that awareness to experience the problems, and they're no longer problems. You go through them. Now, that's somewhat of an oversimplification, and there's more uh, detailed ways that, that I work with people with energy and teach people how to get to that sacred place and uh, so now the olfactory meditation everywhere we've done all the eye movements in the breath and we circulate that energy like this and then like this and then with the olfactory meditation we breathe that energy so with the exhale it's radiating from us literally and with the inhale we inhale that depth of energy that presence and when we exhale, we actually feel it going out through our pores, our skin. We're radiating that energy. Then with our inhale, we breathe in that energy. And uh, uh, the more we do that, that's another, that's a deeper way of circulating energy. And then when you circulate that energy enough, uh, you're the energy is so high that that the photons are activated and your light body is uh, present and uh, you keep on circulating that energy and then you uh, that's part of your practice your meditation then you do it also with the eyes open so right now my eyes are sort of down like that but I'm very aware that I'm circulating that energy with every breath, the presence energy. And then you get up and do what you do and, and scratch your head, and uh, that's not necessarily part of it. I just happened to scratch my head. But anyway, you're aware that you are the presence, breathing the presence and amplifying that presence. And then give it as a gift to, to everybody. Maybe that's what I'm doing. So give the gift of presence because the best thing, the thing that makes me the most happiest is giving. <clears throat> and I'm trying to give in these videos. So uh, uh, accept my gift and uh, work with these tools, these techniques, and uh, give it to people in your every moment. Give the joy, give love, give peace, give harmony, compassion, kindness, or money. Give to people, serve people. That's the good practice. So don't worry about your problems, don't feed the negative energy. What, remember, what you defend against you make real. Be that living presence, who you are in every moment. So, thank you very much.